Hey guys, welcome to my Etsy channel where my primary objective is to help you build a thriving Etsy business. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Nancy Badijo and I am a digital marketing specialist as well as an Etsy seller myself. And I create videos about Etsy that will help you overall improve your social media, um, brand awareness, and also help you increase your sales on Etsy. So if you are an Etsy seller or thinking of becoming an Etsy seller, this is a place to be. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So therefore, when I create a new video, you'll be the first one to know about it. In this video, I wanted to um, create a video that was fun um, and show people how easy it is to start selling digital prints and how to create digital prints by simply buying other people's um, artwork that they sell, right? And creating your own stuff with the art sell and then um, selling digital prints on Etsy or any other e-commerce platform that you could sell digital downloads like Zazzle.com, um, etc. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, anything that I talk about on this video, I will link the links below. Um, for the different tools that we're currently using. Um, so the first one I want to start with is Canva. If you've never used it, I recommend signing up. It's free to use and it's canva.com. I will leave a link below. And with Canva, you could do so many things. You could create social media postings for your social. You could do artwork for your Etsy shop. You could do newsletters. You could do blog um, posts, you could do flyers. There's so many options when you come in here, um, of different things that you could do. Um, what I, what I'm going to teach you today is how to basically create a digital print using Canva.com. So Canva's free. You can also use other softwares like PicMonkey or I also use Photoshop, but if you don't want to pay extra, I will just stick with Canva. It's a free service. Um, you only pay, you only pay if you end up using some of their artwork that costs like a dollar. So it's not bad at all either. Um, the second tool you will need to sign up is called Creative Market. I have a link below if you guys could use that one. It is an affiliate link and I do get a percentage for, of whenever you guys sign up. But I highly recommend that I buy all my stuff from. From Creative Market is where I get majority of my clip arts, majority of my mockups. These are all the stuff that I have purchased. As you can see, it goes all the way to page 17 because I have bought so many things from Creative Market, from fonts to logos to clip art to mockups to book mockups, etc., etc. I have bought it from them. And basically, what you could do is you could, whenever you're searching for something, you could put flower clip art and you're going to get so many options these are all the different options that you get that you could buy from them and wh what i recommend is when you are using one of these uh, make sure that you read their license um there are requirements that you need to meet so for instance i actually own this one and you get one commercial project for it unlimited personal project so if you use it for personal it's unlimited you can use it as much as you want if you use it to sell, you can only use up to 500 sales per product. Um, however, you could buy the extended license. Um, so when you do buy it, you'll have the option to, to buy the, the extended option if you like. Um, and just make sure you read all the details. Um, normally down here, it kind of tells you everything about, the, about what you're buying and all the regulations and all the terms and conditions. Um, but it's really, really nice because a lot of people think that in order to sell on Etsy, um, they have to have some type of talent, like be able to sew or be able to crochet or be able to create clothing. And I was in the same scenario too, that I thought, hmm, I want to sell on Etsy, but I don't know how to make anything. Right. And when I first started selling on Etsy, this is what I started doing. I started buying, um, clip art and creating, um, quotes. That was the first thing I started with. And then I transitioned to wedding designs, which is what I'm doing now. Um, so this is, I'm going to show you how to create like a wedding sign in a few simple, easy steps that you could do yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. So 
you go to Canva. Let's say I want to create my sign, right? Eight by 10. So I'll go to create customs. Oh, I'm sorry. Custom dimensions. So I put eight by 10, the height, and then you want to switch this to inches and then create. And it's going to come up with a blank Canva. And from here, you're going to create your product, right? So I'm going to do, um, love is sweet. Please take a treat. That's what I'm going to do. So you go to text and here you could pretty much pick any of these. And when you pick from it, you will get the same design. You see like that one. I'm actually want to create my own. So I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to just click on add text and it's going to do a little placeholder of text here and you can stretch it out if you need to a little bit. And I'm going to push this if it lets me up. So in here, I'm going to put love is sweet. And then I'm going to make this a little bigger. So I'm going to play with eight. Let's see 80. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I think that's better. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text, right? So I want something cursive. They have so many, you see, so many fonts you could choose from. So you don't even have to buy fonts. You could do something like that. That's kind of cute. You could do a regular text if you want. I want something cursive. So I'm going to pick for the sake of this video so I don't take too long. That one's kind of cute too. Alrighty, let's see here. So I'm going to pick this one. Yeah, I like this one. So I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to make it a little bigger. And then I'm going to make this bigger because I feel like it could go up to 90, 88, let's say 88. So this is the first thing, right? I'm going to put push this a little bit up and then I'm going to add text again. And I'm going to push this text on the bottom right here. So you got to hover on top of it and kind of push it down. And then I'm going to push this down a little bit. So here I'm going to put take, please. I'm going to make it all capital. Please. I mean, please take a treat. And then I'm going to spread it out. I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to make this still a little bigger. I feel like it could go a little bigger. Yeah, I think that's good actually. Maybe make this one a little smaller. I think that's good actually. So boom. So now I have love is sweet. Please take a treat. So then I have my clip art. So I had downloaded it already. So I'm just going to down. When you download a clip art in here, all you have to do is put it on top of your photo, like drag and drop. And it actually pops up. So then once it downloads completely, and you'll know because this will be full or the line here will be full. You just drag or click on it and it will put it in the template. And then I'm going to play with the size. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to put it like that. Okay. And then I'm going to drag, I'm going to put another one and then I'm going to rotate this one. Right. So I'm going to click on that little button and I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to make this smaller. And then now I'm going to put this. Now I feel like there's a gap in between the letters. So I'm going to highlight it. And for spacing, I'm going to, for height, I'm going to make it a little tighter. Some of the fonts are like that, that once you press enter, it creates this huge gap. So you kind of have to play with them. Sometimes you have to like remove the gap. Um, so put it in the middle. I'm going to put this right here. I almost feel like I can make this font a little bigger to take more of the space. So I'm going to do, let's see, 120. Yeah, I think 120 works. And I'm going to push this down. And then all you have to do is just pretty much try to put it where you think it would look good. I, I actually think that looks good. And this is actually a print, a digital print that you just did. It took us roughly, what, like two minutes? And it took me longer because I was trying to choose which font I like. But that's it. It's so simple, guys. And then with Canva, you could actually change a lot of other stuff. Like if you wanted to change, let's say you wanted to change the background of this, you could either pick a color from here. You see, you could like pick a color from here as well. Like let's say you want to do this little gray one here. Um, maybe you want to do something like this. So you see how it's so simple. Now, if, if, 
if you get a line like this, those are the ones that you have to pay for. Normally it's like a dollar, but the free ones you don't have to pay to use. So all of these are free right here that you could use for free. So you could change the background. You could also go here and you could pick a color. See, so you could do, well, you want to remove that other background. So we're going to delete it. And then here you could pick a color. So if you wanted to do this with a gray background, if you wanted to do it with a black, and then you could change the font to white if you needed to. Um, so let's say you wanted to do it with that, with that type of color. Um, oops, excuse me. So let's say that's your, that's your final product. You want to sell it with that color or actually, I actually like it with the white better, but let's do color just for the sake of it. So you pick that color. Once you're done, all you have to do pretty much is just go here, download. It's going to ask you what type of format. Normally when you sell a digital download on Xe, you want to do both JPEG and PDF. Um, you want to provide the customer with both. Some some people like to print with JPEG, and some people want the PDF so so they could print it out at a professional printing office. So what you do is you you press save as JPEG, download. It's going to prepare the file for you, and it's within seconds, literally. And remember, this is an eight by ten. So if you wanted to create different sizes, then you just go back and create the same thing, but you would just change the size. So this will be your digital. And then what I normally do, so I don't forget what size it is, I normally just put the size of this print. So you could put, I, I don't put the name of the actual file. I just put eight by 10. But this is what the customer will get. And it's a, it's a file, it's a digital download that they could download from their home, print at home, or they could take it to their local printing shop and print it out for their wedding or for whatever event that they're gonna do. But it's very, very simple for you guys to create digital prints like I do and make a killing on digital prints, especially because a lot of people want the, co the convenience of now. They want to get the files today. Maybe they're buying last minute for something or they want a custom order. This is a simple way that you could create a digital print using Canva and then just buying the artwork already pre-made. So it doesn't really require for you to be an artist. It doesn't really require for you to be a tech savvy it doesn't really require for you to spend so much money on products and printers and services. It's a very basic solution. You buy the clip art and then you create arc with it. That's simple. It's that simple. I hope that you guys learned something new today or you get inspired to start a digital print store. If you do, leave a comment below. I would love to see your store. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, make sure you leave a um, leave them below. I also will clip um, this link to Creative Market so you could browse through their flowers and you could see what they have. It's not just flowers. They have tons of stuff. You could do baby shower clip art. You could do um, just pretty much anything your imagination will take you. You could do. And it's a pretty simple process. And all you have to do is purchase. Even with like $18, you could do 300 products. You see what I'm saying? So you definitely could go a long way with just buying a little bit of clip art and just starting your work. So I hope that this video inspired you. Uh, make sure you subscribe and make sure you give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.